Hey, what's going on, everyone? I am back. Today's August the 14th, 2022. We're going to give you all a price prediction update in the three indexes, the S&P 500, the Dow, and the NASDAQ, because a lot of people have been talking about, are we in a new bull run? Yeah, I'm going to show you all how the money has been moving in these three indexes to give us an overall broad view as to how people think. If you guys want to join me, hit the like button, save and also subscribe to the channel because this is what I do. I mean, you guys can see it right now in the Dow, we did a video on uh, May the 1st, 2022, and you guys can see what the thought process was. We was looking for the market and the Dow to go down, and it did that. Very good call. I mean, you guys can see it. It's right here. You guys could go back and actually see the video as well, too, to this day when we play the weakness into the market. Now, we wasn't that bearish, right? A lot of people have been giving their price predictions saying that the market's going to go down to, you know, 20,000 points in the Dow or, you know, uh, 28,000, 25,000 points in the Dow. I want to say, well, we might hit 30,000, 750. And we pretty much came there. This is where the buyers came in and bought up. this index right there okay so pretty good call that's around 7.18 percent let's get rid of that okay now one thing i wanted to show you is that market gives us ideas every day that the market is operating every day that there's trades going on it gives us opportunity to see the mind state of the individuals who are participating so check this out you guys can see that the dow has now overcame the support area it, it was going to act as restriction once we fell back down below it, but now we successfully traded back up above it. That's one clue to tell us that the market is bullish. That's just one, okay? Now let's take a look at this though. We're gonna create this downtrend into the market in the Dow, okay? Now, we are now encroaching upon what many people would use and say that we could see the market go back down. We are now there. So the question is, what's the probability of us seeing the Dow break this descending line to the upside? What are the chances? Because if it's, the chances are great, then we can say the market is still bullish and that the market's going to break that descending line to the upside. Let's see this then. Two weeks chart. OK, now charts don't lie. I don't care what anyone says. People lie. Information can be deceitful, but charts is not lying. Okay, so look at this on the last two weekly price bars. Okay, let me show you all this because right here on this two weekly price bar, the market closed at the higher the bar. Look at this two weekly price bar. The market closed at the higher the bar. My only concern is that the volume has been dwindling. It seems to me like people are a little bit more leery. You know, they're kind of hesitant into putting more money in the Dow. Is that because we are now seeing the market come here? towards this descending line yes that is the reason okay everyone has access to the same information you can see even here on the two weekly chart that the market in the Dow is coming across another area of restriction look at all of these two weekly price bars that the market in the Dow was using as support right all the way back in 2021, the market was utilizing, uh, what, 34,200 points as support, right? And then we broke it and we fell. So now that is the current area for the buyers to take out. They got to take this area out in order to maintain the bullishness. All right. So let's look at this on the three weekly chart then. OK, so we have five days and five hours left on this current three weekly price bar. Now, I'm here to tell you, these three weekly price bars still matter. They're very important because it tells us that these individuals who bought on these three weekly price bars are still looking for the market to go up. That is why this current three weekly price bar is closing at the high of the bar. So, yes, this market is still strong in the Dow. We're going to continue to expect the market in the Dow to go up. Now, I've already pinpointed areas that we all need to be paying attention to. Because if the market does not break these areas to the upside, we know when we need to leave out the market. Yes, you have to know when to buy and when to sell. These are opportunities to sell the market in the Dow only if we see selling. If we don't see selling at these areas where these lines are drawn, then we can continue to ride the market higher. The market will tell us. 
and as of right now is telling us that these lines may not impact the Dow. So let's go ahead and play the strength into the market in the Dow. Okay. So now we're going to extend this to November time frame. We want the market in the Dow now to give us confirmation to hold. Um, let's bring it down to this level. Okay. 31,300 points. Okay. So check this out. I'm going to give you all the play. Let me show you the forecast. So we can see the market in the Dow do this. We can see it this week come up here to this descending line, get rejected, come back down, try to make another attempt, get rejected, come back down. But then we see the market break outside of that descending line. And that would be massively bullish right off the bat. All right. Second prediction, we can see the market break this downtrend line, get rejected here at 34,200 points, come back down to the downtrend line, hold that as support, come back up, break that to the upside. That's another scenario. Or the third one is we just completely see the market break both those areas and continue to rent, try, uh, continue to trend higher. Either or, right? But overall, I'm still seeing the bullishness on this stock. We're gonna to continue to play this looking for the market to go higher. Now, these will be points for us to come in and take the profitability though, okay? Right here, around 34,000 points, 34,200. And the ultimate area that I'm looking for the Dow to run up towards is going to be around 35,000, okay? So let me give you my price targets again. Uh, the first one's around 34,200. My second one is around 35. And my third one is going to be nearing all time highs around 35,600. Okay, that's it. Now I'm going to hold that there. And I'm going to do the same thing for uh, the S&P 500. Let's do the NASDAQ first. Okay, you guys can see we got that correct. Now the thing about the NASDAQ, I already had a downtrend line in play and the market is actually trading outside of it now. So this particular index is stronger than the Dow. But let's go ahead and drop this on a chart too because I'm looking for the NASDAQ to continue to trend higher as well. Okay, we got our support uh, right there around 11,500. Uh, the first area of contention for the sellers to me is going to be around 14,160. That's the first price target there. No, my first price target is going to be here. 14,100. My second one is going to be up here to 14,400 and we may just see the market go that high. Oh, that's pretty good on the monthly time frame. And my third one is going to be around 14,700. Okay. So let me put that there. Bring us in closer. And let's keep a watchful eye as to how the market is going to trade. Those are the three price targets there for the NASDAQ. And real quick, let me go ahead and do uh, the S&P 500. You guys can see right here, we already got that correct downtrend is still in play though for the s p 500 okay so that would definitely have to be the first spot for us to come in and take some profitability it's not going to be much it's going to be around one percent i get it and we see the market in the s p 500 hold this area on any weakness right there around 4075 points the market is still massively bullish Okay, I'm just going to tell you out right now. So that's the first price target, uh, 4275, 4300 points. My second one is going to be up here around 4400 and then 45 is what I'm looking. Ultimately, so that's like another 5% moving higher in the uh, S&P 500. Okay. So I, I want to preference how your mentality should be. So if we see this upcoming trading week on all of these three indexes uh, get rejected, right? You might get nervous and say, oh, the market is going to continue to go down. They're going to try to play on your emotions, 
But if the S&P 500, I've already told you, if we see the buyers come in here, we're going to see the market continue to go up. I'm already prepared for that. So be prepared for this upcoming trading week. It might be a little bit volatile because we are nearing areas of rejection. OK, you guys can see it right here on the Dow. You guys can see it as well on the Nasdaq, which we've already broken that downtrend. So that might be a precursor as to how the Dow and S&P 500 is going to trade. OK, well, that's it. That's where I'm at. All right. So give me your thoughts as to how you think the market is going to trade for this. What's this? The third quarter of 2022. Let me know how you think it's going to go. Make sure you maintain a profitability and as always trade different.